Doc was very complimentary of uh, your defense tonight. He said he really needed to be, they really needed you to do that because of how big your offense was. Just how much did you uh, kind of accept that challenge of having to go up against a guy like Bradley Beal and even a time Russell Westbrook? Uh, yeah, it's a challenge that you always want to be able to step up to. Um, I've been working on defense my whole offseason, so it's good to see some of that translate. Um, coach is going to challenge me on that end, and you know, I'm, I'm ready to step up. Did you, did you, did you feel uh, any advantage because of the defense? What was the first part you said? I'm sorry. Most definitely. Um, a lot of being a good defender is, you know, first being strong and being able to, you know, keep guys from getting where they want to get to um, and not making things easy. And I feel like, you know, that's definitely translated. Great. Next question is from Lauren Rosen. Go ahead, Lauren. Hey, Shake, I know it was only one game, but what did you learn about your team's ability to fight and rally late in games tonight? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't easy. Um, you know, we turned the ball over a little bit too much. We had some lapses on the defensive end, but, um, you know, one thing we just kept talking about was keep playing and, you know, staying together. And I think over time, you know, if we can continue to do that, you know, it's going to ultimately end up in our favor. Great. Next question comes from Noah Levitt. Go ahead, Noah. Uh, so I know throughout your professional career, like starting in the G League, getting to the foul line was a point of emphasis for you, and you did that well tonight. What have you picked up over time about how to draw free throws, and how much does the way you have it helped you there? Um, I don't know. I think, you know, for the most part, it's just playing basketball and you know, over time, just more the more reps you get, um, the more comfortable you feel doing certain things. I will say that um, having the extra weight is, or having, you know, putting weight on has definitely helped with just taking the contact and being able to, you know, go see contact now and absorb it better and, you know, still be able to, to finish and, and, and draw fouls. So I definitely think that's helpful. Great. Next question comes from Mark Narducci. Shake, how much of a lift could you feel that, that the second unit game, especially in the first half, how much do you think that really picks up the team when you guys as a unit are playing like that? I think it, you know, it definitely gives us a boost. I think that's our job. Um, we got to see how the game's being played, and when we come in, you know, it's our job to make sure that the pace is you know, at a high level. You know, we're moving the ball, we're sharing the ball, and you know, we're making smart basketball plays. Uh, when, you're, when you're coming in there, I mean, how much are you looking to make to make things happen, knowing that they're you're depending on the score? Definitely. I mean, just trying to be aggressive, be aggressive and make the right play. You know, whether that's shoot it or we pass it and, and, and look to create for other guys, whatever it takes. Nice. Perfect. Last question comes from Christos. Hello, Shake. I would like to ask you what it means uh, this victory because it was a close game. What how big you get from that uh, um, I mean, it's just the first game of the season, but I definitely think it's good for us to get off on the right foot. Um, like I talked about earlier, you know, we didn't start off our best, our, 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 you know, as crisp as we could be. But I think us just sticking together, um, us continuing to play, being locked in on the, in the game plan, uh, ultimately helped us get the W. And also, what is the potential of this team this season? I don't know nothing about potential, but I think, you know, everybody's trying to go for a championship. That's the goal. Thank you.